Circulation Foundation is the only vascular charity, pretty much globally actually, uh, and I think it's got several functions. Firstly, it's supposed to be a patient support service, so provide information and support for patients, something that we haven't done so well to date and actually we're planning on doing a bit more of. It's also supposed to raise money for charity and increase the awareness of vascular disease in the population. What we're planning on doing is I'd like to uh, have ambassadors for the CF in all of the arterial centres around the UK. So that could be allied healthcare professional, nurse, doctor if need be. I think I have this vision of wanting there to be leaflets and posters and donation forms on every ward in every outpatient clinic around the country. But I'd also like those ambassadors to do fundraising events, have a help in hand in tweeting and using the social media side of um, the Circulation Foundation, which needs a bit of help and a bit of work. The key message is that, is that for really complicated uh, aortic surgery, we really need to be doing that in the right place with the right surgical team. And that's going to involve a little bit of reorganisation uh, in that uh, there probably will be five complex centres that do thoracic abdominal aneurysm surgery in the country um, and they need to have the right skill mix of staff there that can manage everything. I think the other really important message is that's going to require collaboration within a local aortic network so that you know where to refer your patients but that also you've got within your region you've got it set up so that people are sent to the right hospital for the procedure that they need so again putting the patient where the maximum skill set is So I would say, I mean, it's the epidemic of critical limb ischemia and diabetic foot sepsis. I mean, we talk, I talk about aortic surgery all the time because I'm an aortic surgeon, but actually the volume of cases that are coming through, it's all critical limb ischemia. Um, and I think the real challenge is the capacity in the hospitals, finding really sensible, good ways of treating them in an ambulatory manner as, uh, as much as possible. So not admitting the host ho to hospital as emergencies, keeping them at home and doing an elective procedure and getting them home as quickly as possible. In the NHS you have a lot of things done to you, you're told to you know, match this target, do this, do that. But actually the best way to change healthcare is to get the doctors and the nurses to take charge and to redevelop their local microsystem and do it well for their population. And that may not be the same as the neighbouring population because everybody lives and works differently.